Good afternoon everybody. Today we are going to study the first chapter of class 6th that is computational thinking. Before moving on to the chapter, let me tell you a story that why computational thinking and how it helps in resolving our greatest problems very easily and how it can change our way of thinking and solving the problems. So let's start. Once there was a boy named Aryan who wants to plant a large number of trees to make his large colony green. After a significant amount of trees cutting was done to widen the roads. He wants to plant 2000 trees for which he needs a large number of seedlings. His budget is limited and he cannot afford to buy so many seedlings. After consulting with some of the conservation experts and online research, he concludes that seedlings can be grown at home and at a lesser cost. He first breaks this massive task into the smaller ones, studies each subtask individually and works a stepwise solution for each task. As a result, Aryan succeeds in getting the thousand new trees planted and his colony is now green again. Now the question is, how does Aryan accomplish this task successfully in spite of being new to it? He does it by using a technique called computational thinking. Now let us discuss what is the meaning of the computational thinking. Computational thinking is a thought process that teaches us how to solve the complex real world problems in such a way that a human or a computer can effectively carry out the larger problems into the smaller ones. It concludes logical reasoning, devising the problem step by step and designing the systems. Now let us discuss about the components of computational thinking. First, analysis. Second, decomposition. Third, pattern recognition. Fourth, abstraction. Fifth, algorithm design. And now we are going to study these five components individually. First, analyzing the problem. Analysis is the process of understanding the problem and conditions and defining the goals. Before solving any problem, you need to know what is problem and what are the goals. Only then you will be able to solve that problem. As the Aryan analyzes the problem well in advance, when a lot many trees are being cut, he learns or senses that the environment is getting polluted so he needs to plant more seedlings with the help of more persons around his neighborhood to make a green environment. So what it concludes? It concludes the problem is the environment is getting polluted and the goal is to purify the environment. Second, decomposition. Decomposition makes the task more manageable. Here what Aryan does? Aryan breaks down the task of planting a large number of seedlings into the following steps. First, he found the donors for contributing to the expenses because it needs a lot of expense. Second, collect the seedlings and seeds from the various sources, maybe to the nursery or the any fertilizer shops. Third, arrange for the nursery bags and containers for preserving the seeds. Fourth, organize soil, compost and natural pesticides. Fifth, bagging of the seeds and seedlings properly and sixth nurture the seeds until they are ready for plantation with adequate water because water is the most important component for plantation third pattern recognition now pattern recognition is important because patterns makes our task more manageable because they help us to make predictions and use the same techniques that have been proven to solve the similar problems in the past. For example, imagine we want to make a drawing of different kind of birds. Since all the birds share some common characteristics like they have eyes, beaks and wings. So we can quickly draw a bird by including these standard features. In the same way in computational thinking, these standard communications known as patterns. 
as aryan also recognized the pattern because he recognizes the similarities between his goal and the existing procedure that experts have followed fourth abstraction abstraction focuses on the essential features and avoids unnecessary complexity as in the above example while searching on the internet and talking to the experts aryan get various inputs number of advices and suggestions and then he finds a solution that seedlings can be planted at home and at a lesser cost now fifth and the most important component of the computational thinking is algorithm an algorithm employs logical thinking to develop a step by step strategy to solve any bigger problem it involves bringing all the above elements that is analyzing decomposition pattern recognition and abstraction together to to solve and design a solution one algorithm can be applied to solve the multiple problems with the similar pattern an algorithm can be represented in the form of a flow chart as shown in the left side of the screen or a plain english test in computer science this algorithm can be converted into programs using a computer language maybe it is c c++ java javascript prolog python and many more now let us see how aryan makes the following algorithm to accomplish his task of preparing the low cost saplings first collecting seeds and saplings second making saplings containers third making the mix needed for the nursery bags fourth bagging of seeds and saplings fifth nurturing of saplings sixth planting now let us discuss these six steps individually the first step is collecting seeds and saplings how he has done this during the monsoon season many seeds can be found fallen under the trees also newly sprouted seedlings can be collected from under the trees which germinate from the seeds that had fallen and grown naturally the seeds and the saplings can be obtained and making sure that the saplings collected have their roots intact how smart he is second making saplings containers nursery bags can be acquired from local nurseries alternatively plastic bottles can be recycled into making the sapling containers by slicing them in the middle and making small holes for excess water to drain out coconut shells can also be used as a bag for smaller plants how intelligently he works isn't it third making the mix needed for the nursery bags compost can be obtained from the nurseries kitchen waste mixed with the dry leaves or sawdust can also be used to make compost in a couple of months by keeping it in a container and mixing it to aerate it regularly this can be mixed along with the soil and coconut husk so that mixture required for bagging the saplings grounded neem seeds make a natural pesticides and can also be added to the mix to help the seedlings survive longer fourth bagging of seeds and saplings for the saplings the bags are partially filled with the mixture first saplings are inserted in the bags and then the bags are filled till the roots are covered with the mixture now for the seeds first the bag is filled with the mixture then the seeds are placed at around 1 inch deep from the surface of the bag fifth nurturing of the saplings the sapling bags are then kept in an area which had the right mix of rain shade and sunlight to help them grow to a 2 to 3 feet height before they could be planted in the ground the saplings are sprayed periodically with the natural pesticides which can be made at home with diluted cow urine and ingredients like garlic and ginger it takes about 8 to 10 months for the process to complete now the last step planting once the saplings have grown to the appropriate height they can be planted in the ground after algorithm we need to know what is flow chart a flow chart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm and its workflow a flow charts use rectangles 
ovals, diamonds and other several shapes to define the types of steps along with connecting arrows to define the flow and the sequence of the process. This diagrammatic representation illustrates a solution to a given problem. What is the problem? To make an environment green. And what is the solution? Plantation. Now the problem discussed here can be understood with the help of flowing flowchart. Let's start. Start with the collecting the seeds and saplings. Prepare or buy the containers. Prepare the mixture. Now you will encounter a decision box where you have to decide it is a seed or sapling. If it is a seed, then insert the seed an inch below the soil surface. Or if it is sapling, then insert the saplings in such a way that the roots lie below the soil. After making the decision, nurturing and then plantation will be done and then stop. So here you can say that the bigger problems can be solved in the smaller ones or the bigger problems can be resolved into the smaller ones with the help of two main components, algorithm and flowcharts. So that's all about today's video where we have discussed about computational thinking and its components by taking a real life example. So we will coming up with the next chapter very soon. So till then take care. Bye bye. Thank you.